Hey, what's up everyone? It's Mimi. I'm Phil. And we're Rhode Island Original. Welcome back to Takeout Tuesday. Yes. <laughs> Today we have a special guest. We do, indeed. Our special guest tonight is Ava Godet. Ava Everybody, Godet. please welcome Ava Godet. Godet. Yeah. And we're going to get to know her really well. Today, so. <laughs> <laughs> She's also going to tell everybody what we're eating. Yeah, so I love vegetarian food. So we are trying Garden Grill. We have here a gluten-free non-cheese mac and cheese Whoa. No with cheese mushrooms. Mac. Cremini mushrooms, yeah. I believe. Cremini mm -hmm. mushrooms, broccoli. One piece of broccoli. <laughs> There's some more on there. <laughs> the other broccoli is hiding. <laughs> then we have this delicious looking winter pizza with butternut squash, apples, pecans, microgreens. So it looks, fancy. It looks like a work of art. I'm not It does. Lie. It looks beautiful and probably will be delicious. Mm. Then we have this tamale over here, vegetarian, so stuffed mm -hmm. with potato and chickpea stew. I believe, mm -hmm. yes, that's what it was. Potatoes and chickpeas, as well as little raisins. Raisins. <laughs> some pickled vegetables and a black bean puree. Yes. We got some salsa on top of there and some cilantro to make it a little nice and pretty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and lime wedge. <laughs> I'm always the one that's like, are you going to use that lime wedge? Because I like, I I like lime. Do you like lime? I do like lime. Yeah. I do. I do. Like a but you can have this one, so. Okay. Oh, there are two. There are two. Of them the guest there. gets the, yes. lime, the only <laughs> lime wedge. Yeah. Perfect. Shall right. we indulge? We shall. I have my eye on that slice. Oh, that guys. I'm the guest. <laughs> I get to pick the slice yeah. I want. All right. I want this I'm piece of broccoli, go. so I'm going to just take that. All right. Take that long broccoli. Oh, my microgreens. Oh, no. All right. my microgreens? How am I gonna get this tamale out? Vegan, cheese-free mac and cheese. <laughs> cheese-free. You're mac so and excited cheese. about it. I know you sound so excited. I'm, so I'm, you're like, God, I'm I can't ready. wait to try Phil, some non-cheese. What mac did you cheese. say today when we're like, we're gonna order from Garden Grill? Uh, I was really excited. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, was really excited. I was a little nervous because I have never been to a vegetarian restaurant before, mm -hmm. um, and really. We'll try how they put yes. their take on things. So yes. um, usually I have a little liquid courage. You know how I do it, but today I'm... Um, this is pure this is vodka. pure taste, taste buds right here yeah. for you guys. For I keep sure. thinking this, this apples are sauce, but it's apple. Yeah. Right? Yep. It is. So okay. vegetarian food for everybody who watches our videos. Thanks for watching, by the way. Um, <laughs> I do love vegetarian food. I'm not a vegetarian myself. However, I do proclaim myself as a part-time vegetarian, so I do love vegetarian vegan food. And I think that the way people cook without the meat is probably ingenious because you just it just tastes really good yeah. and you just forget that you're not eating meat. <laughs> I think that people get afraid of the idea that it's vegetarian mm -hmm. um, and it's think true. that like you have to be a vegetarian in order to right. enjoy it, but I don't think that's necessarily true. Times yeah, are changing. And, uh, times are I, changing. I need to change more than anything. So uh, I guess tamales have chickpeas in it, and I'm ready to try that. <laughs> hey, I, I actually I've never had a tamale as well. Really? So you never I had able, a tamale? Yeah, what? I never had a tamale before, yeah. Actually, where's the record? No. That? <laughs> there ain't no record for that one. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm going to try right. this mac and cheese. Go for it. Well, you're the guest. You can try first. Oh, I have to go, I have to go <laughs> no, first. No, I have to insist. Right. Okay. Right. You want to see how it is? I want that mm. lime, too. Oh, my cheese. Mmm. <laughs> it's good. Yeah? Yeah. All right. I don't like mm -hmm. mac and cheese either. Did you say you don't like mac and cheese mm -hmm. either? Oh. Are you the one who wanted mac and cheese? I was really curious about it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. I the sauce it, does nice. have, like, the right consistency. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One thing I'm excited about this is it's that kind of garlicky. Be, I don't think I'll be full afterwards, or like the heavy, like ill feel. Oh, you know like what I mean? that, probably not yeah. ill feel. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like fatty feeling after mm -hmm. having a mince of cheese and pasta together. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> so, did one. you say that the um the pasta is rice pasta? Mm-hmm. It is. Yeah. Free. Yeah. Actually, it's pretty good. It's not the flavor. The flavor is not too strong in terms of like. You know how like when you have actual mac and cheese, there's yeah. a lot of like that cheese flavor in there. With, there's. Um, mm, I'm sorry, I'm dreading. Mm, oh, okay, with this, it's not too bad. Even though like you don't taste that cheesiness, it does have your right little cheese and yeah. the creaminess and everything. And there's something like on top. It almost. Did you get a piece of that at all? 
The hardness. That almost you mean? like yeah, like a hardness. Yeah. That tastes like almost like a. Maybe baked or something. Baked. Yeah, and but then it's like really kind of good. Hot top. Yeah. Mm. I, I can live like with this. See? I would have this again. Not so scary, right? Yeah, yeah there you go. I'm mm -hmm. not even liking more than mac and cheese. Because <laughs> I don't like mac there, and cheese. There we go. Yeah. Are you trying the tamale right now? Mm-hmm. She had you my lime. I think I'm going to... All that tamale. talk about the lime wedge, so I'm going to go for it. I feel like I'm tasting right now. Ooh, I really like broccoli with the mac and cheese. Yeah. I'm going in. Going in? Tamale, yep. Yeah. The raisins sort of threw me off. Did you have raisins? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Totally. Oh, oh they're really good. Oh, and the raisins are like the golden raisins. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, I was looking for the little red ones. Mmm. Wow, that's really good. This is really good. And the raisins add like a, a slight hint of sweetness to it. Mm hmm And potato and chickpea, that's huh. really my jam too. I love I love the same. Mm hmm I like trying new food with you guys. <laughs> I'm learning I'm now. glad we're learning. I'm glad we're We're opening your mind yeah. to new things. Go figure. So Garden Grill okay. yep. is on East Ave, right? East Ave. That's in, that's in... I'm gonna say like, what was it? The, um, what was that part? Pawtucket, Pawtucket Providence line. Yeah. So if you're going towards the east side of Providence, Hope Street, if you go down mm -hmm. Hope Street all the way, yeah. it's like it's right there. It's a little past the left. Oh, okay. Yeah. Kind of near, um, like past Three Sisters ice cream. Ava, are you originally from here? Or from Rhode Island? Yes, born and raised. Took a long hiatus from Rhode Island. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I stuffed my face with mac and cheese oh. right before that <laughs> question. <laughs> uh, gluten-free. Mm, it's so good. <laughs> well, I'm an actor and a singer, and I moved to New York right out of school and mm -hmm. um, ended up moving to LA. So I was away from Rhode Island for probably about 15 years. Oh, and I would okay. only I would come and visit. But um, just moved back a couple of years ago, and it's well, welcome back. Thank you so much. Yeah, so you did take that that route that most actors and um, other people in entertainment do, either to New York or LA. Have you yes. heard anything about like Atlanta being possibly like another? Yeah, place? Atlanta is is really big. They're definitely a hub. Um, I actually know quite a few people that have left mm -hmm. um, LA to go to Atlanta. To go to Atlanta. Oh, really? um, but believe it or not, Rhode Island and Mass is starting to. Be mm -hmm. a big, you know, hub for um, TV and film. Mm -hmm. We actually have a lot of incentives, like tax tax incentives. Mm -hmm. yep. So there was um, an AMC series that was shot here recently, oh. and stuff being shot in Massachusetts. So yeah. definitely not a bad uh, place to be. Right yeah, now, so. I think I did hear kind of through the grapevine a while ago that they're building a soundstage some somewhere. Yeah, in, I think he's probably in, um, in the area and yeah. also in Massachusetts. Yeah but I don't uh, remember where now, so <laughs> not important anymore. <laughs> that would be nice when we have our own little Hollywood. I know, huh? Yeah. That would be cool. Mm -hmm. Keep everything like local. Like, <laughs> yeah. Local. Definitely. Well, because I know every time I see like, what, the Fairly Brother, Farley Brothers, something like that? They're always Who just won an out. Oscar. Oh yeah, the, what is By it? the way. Green Book is it called? Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen it? I haven't seen the movie yet. Yeah, so no, no, I haven't seen no, the movie yet. I'm hearing so, it's very acclaimed I heard, so. Yes. Yeah, there weren't everything, so. And of course, in his acceptance speech, he thanked Rhode Island first. Oh my gosh. The whole state, because we're small, so. Yeah, we are the smallest state <laughs> in this country. Okay, All right. let's try this. Winter movie. pizza. I love butternut, too. Whoa, that's interesting. With everything together. That's yeah, there's like, like, so much farm right now. Yeah. <laughs> but it's good. That's good. Yeah, it's really good. I like it. You can get the cream and it's from the butternut squash. And it's kind of sweet. I don't get any microgreens. Like microgreens. Your microgreens. <laughs> micro you got man. some on the corner oh. right there. there <laughs> Try <laughs> green. And the apple and the pecan. Whatever this sauce is too. Try to figure that out. It's good, yeah. It's a butternut, butternut squash spray. Well, that's the... This is gnarly. This is good. <laughs> I think it's good. Definitely found a new spot to go to for sure. How about you, Phil? What do you think? For these two joints, yeah. The uh, mac and cheese <laughs> and the tamale. Yeah. <laughs> still uh, lukewarm on the pizza? I'm yeah, still, still, I'm still trying uh, to make a decision. Hasn't hit my taste buds quite yet. Like, mm -hmm. oh yeah? Yeah. It could come along. I don't know. <laughs> You're not going to go to Domino's and be like, <laughs> no, can no. I yeah. get, can I get some butternut squash? <laughs> well, also, on my pizza? Pizza? So, what kind of work did you do out in New York and or LA when you were out there? Um, when I lived in New York, I was in a Broadway show, 
And so, really? yeah, it was really That's cool. That's amazing. It was fun. It was a very fun time in my oh life. Gosh. And I'm um, like, Ava, tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I did the show for uh, almost two years, oh um, which is kind of intense. Mm -hmm. to, you know, when you're a Broadway person, a lot of those actors are in the show for a long time and right. you just do the same show. Right. How many shows a week did you do? Um, eight. Eight, Eight shows eight a week. Shows? So you did two, yeah. like two in one day and then one. Yeah, day there's day. usually matinees on Saturdays and mm -hmm. Sundays, or sometimes we had a schedule where we had a matinee on a Wednesday oh. and just one show on a Sunday, um, but always eight. So it was wonderful. It was very intense, but it was um, an amazing oh my experience. God. Eight shows. Holy crap. That's like, that's a lot. No, no yeah. It's, I don't, it's I'm a lot. Like, I'm trying oh, to think yeah, because like, I always wondered, like, like I, oh, I went to Circus of Life a few times, right? Mm -hmm. It's a show. Mm -hmm. I always wonder how many times they go up and stuff like that. Like, I it's bet, a tedious thing, I would think. You know, I bet they do more, even more performances. Jeez, I bet they do because the shows are um, shorter, right? Okay. They're not. How long was the show long? from Broadway? Well, our show was a little over two hours. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, it's With a long show, but and yeah. Everything? yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've been to a Broadway shows and I'm just like amazed at everything. It's like you do the same thing over and over again for each show, but for some, have you ever felt like maybe um, sometimes for you, even though it's the same thing that you're doing, like each show kind of feels different. It has like its own different like oh, yes. aura or, you know. I Definitely. Know. Yeah. Yeah, like basically every time we walk off stage, we would talk about something funny that happened or something different. Mm -hmm. And yeah, every show kind of takes on a life of its yeah. own. Awesome. Yeah, it was great. It was a wonderful experience and um, after that I actually ended up moving to LA because I had an opportunity to work on a TV show and so I was working on that show and we just, my husband and I just fell in love with California and so we stayed oh for God. like a decade. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> And yeah, it was good times. I did a lot of film and television out there and <coughs> some theater here and there. Is he an actor as well? Uh, he's not. He's a uh, music person. Okay, so all right, yeah. He is um, a drummer and producer, engineer yeah. kind of You guy. guys are a very artistically inclined family. Yes, yes we are. <laughs> you have a daughter, right? We have a daughter. She's only three, but she loves to sing. Oh my uh -oh. goodness, so adorable. Take after her mom. <laughs> she loves to sing. It's so cute. Has she heard that Frozen song yet? Oh. We are the reason yeah, why pretty known. the reason why that video has two million views <laughs> in our household. That's why. Yeah. She knows every word. It's so cute. Let it go. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So Ava has a YouTube channel and she's gonna tell us all about it because this is exciting news. I didn't know she had one, and now we're all gonna find out about it. Yeah, <laughs> it's it, it's um called Tips of the Trade and it's entertainment industry tips and advice. Um and I took a long break. I actually took about three months away uh -huh. um, because I moved and a lot of changes in my life. But I recently just shot another batch of really cool videos. I have some great guests that are coming on. And so I just talk about, you know, kind of all things related to the entertainment industry. I've done a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. I'm a singer, I'm a voiceover actor, I do film, TV, theater. And I just wanted one place that people can go to get um, tips and mm -hmm. things. It's it's a lot of like things that I did wrong <laughs> that I don't wow. want other people to have to go through. You just come to my channel and um, not make my mistakes. Oh, and I also gosh. get really cool guests um, to come on and talk about their, um, you know, what they're an expert in. Mm -hmm. Um, and That's amazing. That sounds amazing. Fun. I'm definitely going to check it out because I just found out about this today. So <laughs> I'm definitely going to go subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. subscribe. I have some new ones coming out well. very soon. So I'm And excited. yeah, it's great because you are, since you are a seasoned veteran in that industry, you <clears> are a wealth of information. So if anybody wants to find out stuff, oh my gosh, please source. go to the channel, comment, message me. I really want to reach out a little bit more to my uh, viewers and subscribers yeah. and just anyone out there, if you have questions, I want to go find the answers. So mm -hmm. if I don't have a video on that topic yet, or if I haven't talked to somebody who's an expert in that yet, mm -hmm. um, that's what I'm looking for. So so you would definitely go and do the research and yeah. contact a bunch of people, get all the information and just definitely present it. Yeah, one of the things, one of the questions I got most was how do I get into voiceover? Mm -hmm. And so I have um, a guest expert that I'll be 
uh, posting soon in the upcoming months all about voiceover from different stages in your career so as a beginner an intermediate mm -hmm. voice actor or a professional um, so lots of different topics that we're talking nice. about Definitely. voice acting is a uh... I hear it's actually really fun and like really it's great fun. like a lot of people can actually sustain a good amount of income with voice acting right it's it's great it's but just like everything else in this industry there's a lot of competition so very true um, yes, highly yes. competitive field but when you find your little place mm -hmm. in it it can really be lucrative and most of the really? time you record from your home studio in your that jammies cool. so yeah. it's nice <laughs> do you actually have any uh, go-to voices can you share with us? I'm not a big animation person. Uh, right. I, I would love to. I actually took this tip from my best friend Marie Westbrook, who is an amazing voice actor in LA, who suggests when you're reading stories to your kids to like do different voices. And it's such a great suggestion. Wow. It makes it super fun for your kids. Wow. And um so I've been doing that a little bit, but I'm not the biggest animation person. I do yeah. more like commercial and yeah, I actually just did a Johnson and Wales commercial oh, today. Cool. <laughs> so check out that, Rhode Islanders. I'll be listening for yeah. that. Yes, for sure. we'll be listening. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah, every time every time I heard it, I was like, oh, animation, but I'm like, I'm animation business. is great. It, it, it must be so fun. I've actually not done that. I have done video games though. I did yeah. like a motion capture oh, where I had to wear cool. the suit with the little oh, ball. Oh no oh, way! Gosh, that's so that cool. Oh my cool. god! Oh my yeah. God. I was like, what? What? Oh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> After to uh, watch my pimple popping, I'm gonna go to your, I'm gonna go to your YouTube channel. After you watch. Uh, no, I'll go to your YouTube channel first, and then the pimple. Please. Pop. <laughs> yeah. But I don't want to be second after. I said night, <laughs> that's my night resident, what I call it, what I usually oh, do. Oh, is that night. your yeah. Oh, that's your thing? Okay. Your, uh, yeah. your, your wind down? Yeah. All right. All right. That's all she wrote, guys. <laughs> Garden grill. <laughs> <Delicious. laughs> Garden grill is delicious. Um, I would definitely go back in myself for the mac and cheese specifically. Um, I would go back for anything on that menu. I, would, I definitely want to try more things. I want to try more things, and I want to go order like 50 oh, of those tamales. It was delicious. I think that's a 10 for all of us on that yeah, one. Yeah, that was a 10. Thumbs well. up. Yep. But besides that, uh, you have 30 seconds. I have 30 oh, seconds. Let it rip, yeah. 30 Not whole even. seconds? Yeah. Or more. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I want to first thank you guys for having oh me. Gosh, I love you. you and what you do, so thank, thank you. you. This was super fun. I want to shout out to Eating Vegetarian. It's good for you. Mm -hmm. And Try you it. should be good to your bodies, yep. Yeah. And uh, go check out my YouTube channel, Tips of the Trade, and follow me on Instagram, Ava Gaudette. And um, follow these guys. <laughs> I don't really have that much to say now. All of a perfect. sudden, now I have a chance to talk <laughs> yeah. and I have nothing to say. No, that Thank was you guys. Great. Yeah. That was great. We are so thankful that you decided to Thank join you. us tonight. We, yeah. yeah, we learned a lot. And I was like, oh, this is awesome. You <laughs> get to know Ava a bit more. And um, yeah, we. Uh, Definitely from the bottom of our hearts. We sincerely thank you so much for joining us. My All pleasure. Right. All right, Phil. We're all out. We are out. We love you. <laughs> yes, we do. And don't forget to comment and subscribe if you haven't already and give us a little like. Bye, everybody. Until next thank time. You. We'll see ya. <laughs>